Hello everybody, this is Julian Abreu and welcome to my step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use my Calorines template. So, first, we download the template. Right-click, extract it, and there we got it. So, we open the folder and you see that we have all the versions available to work for different versions of After Effects. So, we open Astrofix, hit File, Open Project, and we look for the Lightsaber folder. And select the version for our After Effects. Okay, so what's happening? Well, if you don't have Draco Particular, this will show up. And it's totally okay, you don't have to worry about this. It's just telling you that you don't have that plugin, so you're not gonna be able to use it. So, as soon as you open this template, this is what you will see. So, all the work that we need to do is here in main comp. If we do a quick preview, you can see how it looks by just doing nothing. Pretty cool, right? Well, now let's go to the controls. So, it's step two the controls. To use the controls of the lightsaber, we need to click the layer Lightsaber in Maincom. Then go up to Effects Panel and click it to see our controls. Now we see this message saying Missing Effects Lightsaber Controls. This is okay. The, the template will work, so we just keep going. So now, let's take a look at the controls. We have two set of controls here controlled for the lightsaber and from the cross guard. For the lightsaber we got starting point, end point, saber color, thickness, perspective, stand, low resolution and quality. So let's start with the start point. This one will let us move the starting point of the lightsaber as well as end point which will let us move the ending point of the lightsaber. Now we hit reset and now, saber color. Saber color would let us change the color of the lightsaber. If the color of the lightsaber is too bright, you can simply turn down the brightness by just moving the little point to the dark side of the box. <laughs> See what I did there? Dark side. Okay, well, thickness. To change the thickness, of our lightsaber we just need to click the little number here and set a value I don't know like 20 to make it thinner or something like 90 to make it thicker so now perspective if the lightsaber is closer to the camera the ending point will be larger so let's set it like 20% and you'll see how it, it, it affects the lightsaber that's a little bit more extreme we can change it to 60 percent and you see that the starting point is bigger so let's set it back to 50 and now we have a stand this one controls the extending of our lightsaber so if we set it to 50 you see how the lightsaber retracts to the middle but you also see this plasma flame looking thing and this is one of the automatic effects that the lightsaber has making a flame every time the lightsaber retracts or extends so let's set it back to 100 and let's keep going now we have low resolution this one will make the lightsaber go into a low resolution mode to make our editing faster now as you can see we only have left the points that are the ones that we're gonna animate. Let's uncheck it. And now we have quality. This one just controls the samples of the motion blur. 8 is a pretty reasonable quality, but you can set it up to 12 or 20 as you want to make it look even better. Now let's go to the cross guard controls. But where are they? Let's scroll in, it in the timeline until we find them. This happens because the cross guard activates as an automatic effect. 
So every time the light server stands, the cross guard turns on after a certain amount of time. Let's get back to the controls. Here we have cross guard A and cross guard B. But how do we know which one is one? Well, in low resolution mode, you're able to see that. Let's uncheck this and go to the controls. We have A visible and B visible. With these ones, we can control the visibility of each cross guard. So we turn it off, they're gone. If we turn it back on, they're here. Now, as in the main blade, we have the start point and the end point for each blade. We have A start point, A end point, B start point, and B end point. Next, we have a star zone. How do we use this? Well, we go to the first frame, and here we see that the cross guards are off. So, what if we need the cross guards to be on since the beginning of the frame with no extending animation? Well, in that case, we hit star zone, and the cross guards will light up with no extending animation at all. So that's it for that one. Next, we have thickness. But wait, why why again? Well, I needed to make a two different variables of thickness, one for the main blade and the other one for the cross guard because depending on the scene or on the prop that you're using, you will need a different amount of thickness for the cross guard compared to the main to compared to the main blade. Next, we have end thickness. This one controls the ending thickness of the cross guard. Why? Well, because I've seen a lot of light servers in the internet, videos and all of that. And I've seen that the Disney one and the Force FX one and all of them have different ending thickness in their cross guards. So to fix that, you can make it thinner or you can make it thicker by just setting a low value like 1, 3 or even 1 comma 5 if you need to be precise. Let's hit reset. And now, let's start some here. Now we have brightness. Brightness will let you change the whole brightness of the whole lightsaber. So you can make it really low or you can set it to 60 to make it a little bit more bright or even more, 70, 90. You can try it. It will depend on your scene or, you know, personal taste. Now we will hit reset. Now we have lens flare scale. With this one, we can make, as what it says, we can make the lens flares of, that are located in the end point and the starting point of the light server a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. Maybe if the light server is far away, you can make it smaller. If it's pretty close, you can make it a little bit bigger. So that, that, would, that will depend on your scene. And that's it for the saber controls. It is not complicated, it just has a lot of things that you can customize very easily. If you haven't bought the template, uh, please support me if you if you can and, and go buy it because that means a lot to me. I spend a lot of time working on it, so thank you. Now you're ready to animate it, but if you don't feel confident enough to start animating, well. I'm, I'll make another tutorial on how to animate this saber, so please stay tuned.